I don't know why I'm making this video. It doesn't really sound like a great idea or something fun, but you know, some students have asked how to do it and they kind of sometimes get confused when they need to do it. So I think you might get some value. I actually already solved this in another video and we got two, um, two solutions, but the X plus equals one X ended up being extraneous because when I plug a one into there, we get a zero in the denominator. So therefore it's extraneous solution. So X equals five fourths is going to be our only solution. But what if we actually made a mistake when we we're doing all of our work for solving this rational equation? You can always go ahead and take your solution and plug it back in. It doesn't look like a lot of fun, but it's something that you can do. So that's what I'm gonna do, is show you how to plug in a fraction into a rational equation like this to go ahead and verify that it is indeed the correct solution. Typically not something I would advise people to be able to do, but if you have a little bit of time on your hands, then let's go through it. So usually when I'm, I'm plugging things back in, if something is factorable, I don't know, I just prefer to be dealing with things in factored form rather than in this quadratic form. So if I factor out a four X, that would be leave me with a X minus a six. And then over here, I know that's that factored form, a three X plus two times an X minus one. All right, so now what I'm simply gonna do is take my five fourths and I'm gonna plug it in for every single X, then go ahead and simplify. Okay, so now there's a couple things that we need to be able to do. A couple things that I think it gets confusing for a lot of students is when we're trying to do operations with fractions, the best thing that I can always do is always have your fractions with the same denominator, right? That's why a lot of people don't like doing fractions, getting that common denominator. And here we notice that we either have no denominator or we have a denominator four. But the cool thing is I can write a six, I can write a one, I can write a two, all with having a denominator of four, right? Because one equals a four over four. If I was gonna take a two over one and multiply by four over four, then I could say two is equal to an eight over four. We could do a six, right? That's gonna be, if you think about a six as six over one, multiply a four on the top and bottom, that's going to be a 24 over four. And I think that's all that I got, right? One, two, and a six. Yes, it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and do some of our work to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And then you actually know what? Let me go ahead and change this back to orange. All right, so actually these fours are going to divide out. So that's gonna leave me with a five times, um, let's see, a five fours minus a 24 fours. All right, so now let's, we can do a lot of this actually kind of in our head to kind of save some space because we are losing on some space here. So we have five minus nine, 24 is going to be a negative 19. Five times negative 19 is going to be a 95, right? Because five times 10 is 50. Five times nine is going to be 45. So 50 plus 45 is going to be negative. Five times negative 19 is going to be a negative 95. So I have a negative 95 over four. Here I have a 15 force plus eight force is going to be a 23 force. And then five fourths minus one fourth is going to be a one fourth. So I have a 23 fourths times one fourth is going to be a 23 over a 16. Over here, I'm gonna have a 23 over a four. So I'm sorry, that's a three. <laughs> so that's gonna be a plus a three over a 23 fourths. And then over here, that's gonna be a one fourth. So that's gonna be equal to a negative four over a one fourth. Okay. So now what we need to look at is go and say, all right, well, how can I simplify this? So over here, I can multiply this by a 16 over 23 in my denominator and then also do that on the top. So that's gonna be, sorry, why did I not, why did I flip it again? That's so crazy. You're supposed to keep that the same, right? 16 over 23, 16 over 23. My four is gonna divide that into there. So really I have four times a negative 95, put our work over here. So that's gonna be a negative 380 and divided by a 23. And then over here, I can do the same thing, multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's gonna be a four over a 23, four over a 23. So that's gonna be plus a 12 over a 23. And that's gonna equal to, let's multiply this one by the reciprocal. So four over one times four over one. And that's gonna be equal to a negative 16. Whew. Okay, 
So now what I need to do is add negative 380 plus a 12. That's going to be a negative 368 divided by 23 is equal to a negative 16. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, negative 368 divided by 23 is. You're right, negative 16.